please don't do that. If you are an angel head, God place you there. And make God to know that you are happy with him for pleasing you where you are. I would like you to remember the life you have in you is given to you by God, is maintained by God, is, is run by God. I would like you to remember God in whatever you are doing. And you too should know that you don't know when you are leaving this world. You may be as healthy as whoever, but you don't know when you are departing this earth. That is the fact, and that is the more reason every bit of your time on earth here must be lived with recourse to God. Be friendly with your cluster heads. Please don't take yourself so very far away from your cluster heads. I beg of you. More also, the mother angels, the angels that have been grace, uh, gracefully selected by the country uh, director to be the angels to be disbursed to, and they will disburse to others. I would like you to look at it as a privilege. If you have been selected by the country director in person of Apostle Professor Theophilus O. Ebony, yes, to be a mother angel to whom the donors will pay and you will pay other NGOs. Look at it as a privilege. Reports are reaching me that some of these mother NGOs are taxing some people and they are reaching out to some people. If you want to come under me, pay so, so, so amount of money. Please let us be godly. Let us be godly. You know, Christianity is not just mere going to the church, holding the Bible and climbing the pulpit. It goes beyond that. And of course, it's better for you not to even go to church. And when there is a need for you to give what uh, is supposed to be given to your neighbor, you give it to him. Then you go to church, you shout, you sing, you pray and you dupe somebody, and you make life uncomfortable for somebody. It is not good. It is not good. If you are a mother angel, you are opportuned. If you found grace before Apostle Professor Theophilus O. Ebony, and you have been selected as one of the mother angels to be disbursed to, while you disbursed to other people, count it as a privilege. If there are some commitments to be met by you and you cannot afford it, don't make it compulsory for people to help you. Make appeals, make appeals. And if there are people that can uh, help you through your appeals, fine. But for you to peg them at a condition that if you don't do this, I'm going to do this. If you don't do this, I'm going to do this. It is wrong. It is wrong. Let us be humane. Let us love one another. And more also, I would like us to know that people have waited for this grant for a very long time. I know that. Apostle Professor Theophilus O. Ebony knows that. Ibrahim Egoche knows that. Newman knows that. And as many people as are heavy in this Theobat Global Foundation, we all know that. Please, I wouldn't like you people to add salt to injury. Don't add pains to people's pains. People have waited a long time. So these people that have waited for this long time, you come bringing conditions. If you don't do this, you will not have this. It is wrong. As far as Reverend Dr. Bartolomeo Ambocheno is concerned, if you sponsor to Tioba, to me, if you like, insult my father and my mother. 
whenever money is paid to me, you will have your own. You will have your own. Even if you quarrel me, even if you see me on the road, give me a very dirty slap. That slap that you gave to me, the punishment you will get is not me denying you of the money you paid for. You will get your punishment through another means, if God so desires. So as many of you as are up there in this Teobad Global Foundation, I would like you to inform yourself trustfully. If you get into an altercation with anybody, you are not to deny that person of his or her entitlement. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that three times. I feel the Lord God Almighty is giving me this message to you. I would like you to be fair. I would like you to be honest. I would like you to be uh, responsible. I would like you to impress God. Don't take so many laws into your hands. Those that are under you, they are under you by God's permission. God placed you where you are. I would like you to understand that you did not place yourself where you are. God placed you there. And live your life in such a way that God will know that you appreciate what he has done in your life. So as many of you as are up there, you have been appointed as mother angels. If there is one commitment or the other that you are supposed to go through and you are not able to go through and you need some help, please, I would like you to be humane about it. And don't place it as a condition before people that are under you. Of course, people that are even directly under you as an angel, you now begin to tax them. You say, if you don't pay this, this will not happen to you. That will not happen to you. I don't think that is godly at all. And your appointment to be a mother angel, I would like you to understand that there are several other people that wish to have that appointment. They have not yet been able to get it. And you have gotten it and you are abusing it. I don't think it is correct. I don't think it is correct. Please, let us be humane. If we say we are Christians, let us show people that we are Christians. Let us show ourselves that we are Christians. And let us show God that we are Christians. Let us not intimidate our neighbors. Let us not intimidate our friends. Let us not intimidate our subordinates. Please, let us preach this gospel at whatever level. It is not only in the church that we should be preaching this gospel. We should be preaching this gospel everywhere. Everywhere. Jesus said, go to the world. Go everywhere and preach the gospel. Also, the way you behave in your position in this grand colony, can also be a preaching to people. Please, please, and please. And those of us that are under the angels, a lot of us, we don't behave well. We don't behave well. We speak so arrogantly to those that are above us. You as a cluster head, you speak so arrogantly to the age you have, it is not supposed to be like that. Too. Respect him or her. Although God gave her that position, or God gave him that position, yes, God knew why he did that. And it demands humility from your sir. Humility from your sir. Look, as I am here, I can never speak roughly. To Apostle Theophilus O. Ebony, I can never. This is Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbocheno. I can, I can correct him if he goes the wrong way. But for me to come and speak roughly and enter into an altercation 
with Apostle Professor Theophilus O. Ebony, if you expect that the kingdom come, you will never have it. You will never have it because I'm expecting something from him. I'm expecting something from him. And all of you, you know that I am staging examples, good examples. You have never heard me speak roughly to Apostle Theophilus O. Ebony. If he is operating and in his operation, if, he's, if he misses the road, I as a father, I can say my son, come, look at it this way, look at it this way, look at it that way. But that is not to mean that I will engage him in a quarrel. I will engage him in an altercation. I cannot be stupid to do that. I cannot be foolish to do that. Do you know why? I don't know the road. He knows the road and I have to follow. And if you are following somebody who knows the road, you have to be humble. You have to be humble. You have to be discreet in the way you behave. So those of you that are, that are cluster heads, that are under the edge you head, please be humble. Be humble. Don't quarrel with your angel heads. Don't enter into a case with them. As much as it lies within your ability, don't enter into a problem, into any problem with them. Humble yourself before them. And you will get what you're looking for. You'll get what you're looking for. Let there be no problem between the head and those that are following. Let there be no problem between the head and the body. Thank you so very much. Let us live in peace. And finally, I wish to appeal to you people to continue to be patient. Yes. What do you expect me to say? Is that patience. But one thing I assure you is that we are already there. This we are already there is what people don't want to listen to. That whether you want to listen to it or you don't want to listen to it, I assure everybody that our time of turnaround has come. Yes, of course. Uh, it has not come to you the time you expected. There are some people that their children have dropped out of school. Don't worry. Even if your children have dropped out of school and you, that your child is living, know that God has a better package for that, your son. Body, the body is more than clothing. And life is more than the body. Since you have life, there is a hope. When I was growing up as a child, I read a writer who said, there is hope. So long life is going on. I want to assure you that there is a, a better package coming your way. And as far as Theobald Global Foundation is concerned, we are already there. We are, there is nobody that can stand between you and your miracle. The only thing that will stand between you and your miracle is when you feel, okay, you are tired. You are now tired. Like the way some people used to say, some, some dissident fellows used to say, how long do we wait? How long do we wait for this uh, grand? This grand is no longer there. And the rest of them and the devil is able to deceive you into believing what they are saying. That is when you will be robbed. But so long as you have the kind of faith, the kind of resolution that I have, your miracle is coming your way. And just like I used to say, like a woman that is in travail when he, she gives birth, she remembers the travail no more. That is what is going to happen to you, my children all across the country.
Please don't give up on your hope. I know people are hungry everywhere. How many people appeal to me? I need 1,000. I need 2,000. I need 5,000. We have not eaten today. I have not been able to meet your needs. And the reason is that I don't have. If I have, I will willingly do it. But one thing that you should be happy about is that God is on your side and you are healthy. As you are healthy, leave the rest to God. And as many of you as are not healthy and are on, are on hospital beds, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon me at this hour, receive your healing. Receive your healing on hospital beds. And some of you that may not even have the power to go to hospital, receive your healing wherever you are. Whatever may be your case, receive your healing. Be healthy, be healthy, be healthy. And here, if you are healthy, other things will follow. And as you are healthy, there are some that getting a square meal per day is difficult. Receive your miracle. Receive your miracle. God that fed Elijah through the raven is coming to feed you today. Is bringing your miracle. Is bringing your miracle. If you are alive and you can eat, even if not satisfactorily, be content. Be content. You already have a miracle. Other things will follow. Believers of Theoba, God is on your way. God is on your way. This is Reverend Dr. Bartholomew Agbechano talking. You may not say, oh, our elder test person, tell us where are we, where are we? Relax, relax, relax. This thing that is coming your way is coming to change your life forever. Is not a moi moi deal. Is coming to change your life forever. So right now, if you are healthy and you can see ground not to eat per day, don't worry. Be with us. We will soon be there. And one thing I want to tell you before I draw the curtain at this point is that this place that we have come in the history of grant. We have never, never reached. We have never, never reached. This is where I would like to stop. Where are we now? What is happening now? When are we collecting? Ogami, your money is coming to your hand. Just keep on being prayerful. Keep on being prayerful. Let the grace of God continue to remain with you. Let the grace of God continue to remain with you.